hukumu kubwa kuwa naibu wa rais. Na tunamalizana na hiyo maneno Tuesday by Saine atakuwa ameweka Biblia chini. Eh? Na tusemi tafadhali na hatukufanya kwa sababu ya tafadhali tunataka mtu mwenye anaongoza Kenya yote na heshima na heshimu wa Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back again to Frontliner podcast. So Kenyans, I keep on telling you on this platform that anything concerning politics is always well planned, well scripted and well calculated. And before we continue, kindly support this channel by subscribing, turning on the notification bell after subscription, then don't forget to like our videos. Thank you so much for that support. So Kenyans, I'm receiving a video here that is going to be bad on Rigathi Gashagwa and good for Professor Kituri Kindiki, the CS of Interior. And why am I saying that this politics is always well planned and well calculated? Last week or two weeks back, one of members of parliament, that is Oscar Sudi, said that Riyadh Gashagwa is going to be impeached within two weeks. And that one really happened exactly the time that Oscar Sudi said or predict. And that one really showed us that impeachment of Riyadh Gashagwa was planned long time ago. So they are just going step by step. So let me tell you something. Yesterday, Oscar Sudi went on an event in Meru and talked about Rigathi Gashagwa impeachment badly and again talked about the swearing in of the new deputy president, that is Professor Kituri Kindiki. And that is what we are expecting to see if it will happen today at exactly 10 a.m. Because a swearing in of uh, Professor Kithuri Kindiki was supposed to happen during the weekend on Saturday 19th. But that one did not happen after CJ Martha Kome bring an order to decline the swearing in of Professor Kithuri Kindiki that was supposed to happen at Uhuru Gardens. So this is the video of Oscar Sudi destroying Rigath Gashagwa and giving the people of Kenya the clear update on the date that uh, Professor Kituri Kindiki will be sworn in. Watch this video. Ukabila na ujinga haisaidi chochote. Na ile maneno tuliona 207208. Kuna mtu mwingine anataka turudi ile maneno. Sitokuwa ujinga ile ujayo na siku nyingine. That's why tuna hatutaki kiongozi yeyote akusukuma watu wake kwa kona fulani. Kiona kiongozi anasukuma watu wake ati oh, sisi watu wa mrima oh, sisi watu wa mrima don't push your people against Kenyans sisi wote ni wa Kenya na ndio tunalitonaona ile kitu tulifanya bunge si hata tulifanya kimsa tulifanya kwanza kwa sababu tuliona akienda kupiganisha sisi na sisi hatuwezi kupale kupiganishwa si ndio ama nyinyi mnasemaje wananchi Tuwezi kupiganishwa na mtu yote mtu mmoja yani one person kwa sababu ya your greed unataka kusukuma watu wengine wengi kwa kona fulani hati sisi watu wa mrima sisi watu wa mrima hiyo wewe ni kiongozi wa Kenya mimi ni mbunge wa Kenya nikiwakilisha Kapsaret leo sikio statement vizuri mimi ni mbunge wa Kenya nikiwakilisha Kapsaret haimaanishi ati mimi ni mbunge wa Kapsaret kwa wakale eh wewe umekuwa deputy president wa Kenya wakilisha wa Kenya wote hata huyu ndugu yetu kindiki tumempatia kiti yeye kuanzia jana kuanzia akiwa waziri alikuwa waziri wa Kenya sio waziri wa eh, tarakanizi amepewa sasa jukumu kubwa kuwa naibu wa rais na tunamalizana na hiyo maneno Tuesday by Saine atakuwa ameweka Biblia chini eh? na tusemi tafadhali na hatukufanya kwa sababu ya tafadhali tunataka mtu mwenye anaongoza Kenya yote na heshima na heshimu wa Kenya na atembe pembe zote za Kenya akijua yeye ni mkenya na yeye ni kiongozi wa Kenya. Tunakubaliana hiyo? Yeah. So tuache mchezo. Ikifika sawa uongozi tuweke ujinga kando. 
na tuongoza watu wetu kwa njia yake. Ama nyinyi mnasema nini watu wa Meru? Si ni hivyo mzee? Eh. Sasa mimi ningekuwa nasema mimi ni mkale ningekuja hapa Meru. So that is what is going to happen today at exactly 10 am we are expecting uh, professor kituri kindiki to be sworn in and take oath as the new deputy president of the republic of kenya and that one will remain a history in the republic of kenya after the third deputy president to be impeached after working for 766 days in the office so that is what is going to happen at the or gardens or at the at the state house or anywhere else because William Samoro to have a power have power to do anything in the republic of kenya because right now he have pocket any pro, uh, any docket in the republic of kenya And that is why Rigathi Gachagua told the people of Kenya when he was released to the hospital that he is the person who can question William Samoe Ruto against bad things. And that one really show us that these cabinet secretaries really are sorry are really under William Samoe Ruto's order and they cannot question anything that William Samoe Ruto is doing or else they will be fired up yes we have just talked about it that nobody can not question the government except Riyadh Gashagwa and we are, we are seeing that one people like Musalem Davi Davadi are quiet Moses Wetangula are quiet Adin Duale have never come out and spoke about anything that is going bad against the government So, so William Samoe Ruto needed a person that will be just saying yes no yes sir yes sir and he also needed a person that will not threaten him politically and that is professor Kituri Kindiki and the people are go the William Samoe Ruto is going to regret firing up or impeaching his deputy president Rigathi Gachagua in the office because the way uh, William Samoe Ruto rushed with Rigathi Gachagua's impeachment motion really show us that these people didn't want Rigathi Gachagua to work with them in their government of Kenya Kwanza and that the reason why they united together and make sure that they impeach Rigathi Gachagua and at this moment I think Rigathi Gachagua should just go to the court with his legal team so that he is justice for vying for any public seat in the Republic of Kenya can remain but let him leave William Samoe Ruto with his government we want Rigathi Gachagua to be on the ballot in 2027 ladies and gentlemen thank you so much and let us meet the next video that is going to be uploaded shortly within no Thank you so much.